Namaskar Shiva students we have completed the chapter the necklace now we will be discussing the main points the textual questions along with some extra questions and reference to context so let's start with the main points madame Latil matilda loisel was attractive and very pretty but unhappy in life despite being born in lower middle class family she dreamt of an aristocratic lifestyle she had no dowry and no way to get married to an affluent person and therefore she married an ordinary clerk she felt humiliated by her low ordinary existence as she was unable to face her rich schoolmate madam foreste she was overcome with regret depression desperation and distress caused by her poverty one evening her husband returned with an invitation to the party hosted by the minister of public instruction she was spiteful and indifferent to the invitation as she had no proper dress for the party her husband tried to pacify her and helped her to get a proper dress with 400 francs which he had saved to buy a hunting gun the day of the party approached matilda seemed perturbed and sad because she had not have suitable jewelry to match with the with the dress her husband advised her to borrow some jewelry from her rich friend madam forester matilda borrowed a diamond necklace from her friend at the ball matilda was elegant graceful and the prettiest all men's eyes fell on her she danced with intoxicated pleasure swaying in pleasure throughout the night at 4 in the morning the couple went home while removing the wraps from her shoulder matilda found her necklace missing they made a long thorough search but in vain they at last decided to replace the necklace they found a chaplet of diamond that looked alike at the cost of 36000 francs Loisel used 18000 francs of his inherited possession and borrowed the rest at high interest to purchase the diamond necklace and handed over the replacement to Madame Forester. The Loisels now faced the penury. The status of life became still worse. Matilda gradually became old and shabby. But in spite of all the misery, she often remembered the minister's ball where she was flattered and had a great success. On a Sunday walk she met her old friend Madame Forester who failed to recognize the withered and changed Matilda. Matilda related her 10 years misery which was caused due to her friend. Hearing the shocking ep- episode of the necklace and her penury Madame Forester was deeply touched. With fondling care she disclosed that her ne- necklace which she had lent to Matilda was fake. and was worth not more than 500 francs only now let's see the textual questions the first genre is the think about it the first question the course of the loisel's life changed due to the necklace comment matilda loisel was born of a middle class family she was very pretty and attractive despite being poor she always dreamt of living a lavish lifestyle Her husband was an ordinary clerk who could not afford to fulfill all her demands. After replacing the lost necklace with a new one, they had to repay all the money that they had borrowed to buy the new necklace. They started facing all kinds of odds in life. They set away the maid, changed their lodging, they rented some room in, rooms in an attic. Matilda started doing all the household chores which a lady of her status normally did. Monsieur Loisel also started working extra in the evening and at night. They took 10 years to clear all the debts, but in these 10 years the penury had transformed Matilda into a poor, prematurely old, unpleasant woman with loud voice, red hands and neglected hair. What was the cause of Matilda's ruin? how could she have avoided it matilda wished to live like a queen whereas her family background did not permit this she was a woman who did not know how to live within her means despite being poor she dreamt of a lavish lifestyle 
When Monsieur Loisel brought the invitation, she purchased a new set of dress, but then she felt out of place without suitable jewelry to match the dress. So, she then borrowed a diamond necklace from her childhood friend, Madame Forrester. After the party, she found that the diamond necklace was lost. Now, in order to replace the necklace, they gave up all the possessions and also borrowed a lot of money to buy the necklace. They faced the penury of life and took up all kinds of hardship for 10 years to pay off all the debts. This hardship took away all her youth and beauty, all comforts and peace of life. She was completely ruined. She could have avoided her ruin by learning to accept her current situation. Another way could have been to try getting a job or starting a business. What should have happened to Matilda if she had confessed to her friend that she had lost her necklace? If Matilda could have confessed to her friend that she had lost her necklace, she might have been in lesser trouble than what she, ha she faced having replaced the necklace. Her friend would definitely have been angry with her. Most probably, she would have asked Matilda to replace it, that's all. She would have given her the details from where she had bought the necklace and how much it had actually cost her. Thus, Matilda would have known that the jewels in the necklace were not real diamonds. Another angle would worth attention is the good nature of her friend, the ease by which she showed all her jewellery to Matilda suggests that even if it was of real diamonds, she would not have been angry at getting it lost. If you were caught in a situation like this, how would you have dealt with it? If I were caught in a similar situation, I would have probably behaved in the same way as Matilda and her husband did. Scarcity of money does not give confidence to most of the people to speak the truth. I know and practice to remain within my means. Borrowing diamond necklace is stupidity. Showing off by begging. But most of the people would be caught in a similar debt trap if they are greedy and cannot accept the crude reality of their life. This is my point of view. This is an open-ended question which requires your point of view. This is the point of view given for you to understand how to produce the answer and knit the answer so this is the way you'll be knitting your answer with your point of view okay so let's move on to the next genre that is talk about it so let's start with the first question the characters in the story speak in english do you think this is their language what clues are there in the story about the language its characters must be speaking in Although the characters speak in English, it is not their language. There are ample hints of them to be French people. Firstly, they are addressed as Monsieur and Madame, which is done by French people only. The line, the old carriages that one sees in Paris, is yet another reference that they are from France. Matilda went for a walk in the Champs Elysees, which is one of the famous avenues in in Paris. The currency they use in fr is franc, which is used in France and Belgium only. Honesty is the best policy. This is this much. It means you need to explain this proverb in context with the text that we have read, that is the necklace. So let's see how we can explain this proverb. Matilda was snobbish and honest but full of false pride, because of which she could not go and admit the loss of the necklace to her friend. If she could go straight to her friend and confess that she had lost the necklace, she would be much safer. She would not have to face the menace and penury in life. On the other hand, she was a truthful person and so, purchased a similar necklace at any cost and returned it to her friend. We should be content with what life gives us. This is again an open-ended question or a global question which always requires your point of view, your interpretation and your addition to the answer. This is just the structure that I have provided you. You need to add on to this 
you you will have to understand that talk about it is a genre which requires your interpretation your thought process so always add on to the structure that is provided in order to be happy in life one should accept life as it comes to him or her the realities of life should be accepted being contented with whatever you get in life is also a blessing from god people whose aspirations are too many who are greedy who always compare their life with others and try to su- supersede others to show off their status are never contented and happy in life take the case of madame matilda who was not ready to accept her real life status she always dreamt that she was born for all delicacies and luxuries she so she needed an extraordinary dress to compete with the elite lady, ladies in the party to adorn herself she had to go to the extreme of begging for a necklace from her friend here we complete all the textual questions now let's move on to the extra questions which i have only sorted out with some short answer type questions and by now you know it has to be read it within the word limit of 30 to 40 words so let's see why did matilda think her life to be an error of destiny matilda was very pretty and attractive but she was born in a family of clerks the author feels that such beauty is not fit to be in a lower class mi- lower middle class family but deserves to be born in a sophisticated family so the author presumes it to be an error of destiny that instead of being in an elite family matilda is in a poor family as a misfit how did monsieur loisel solve matilda's problem of the dress Monsieur Loisel was not very happy to forego his pleasures but sacrificed for Matilda's happiness. He agreed to pay her 400 francs to buy a suitable dress for the minister's party. Check out the reference to context from this chapter. Go through all the given videos. It will be easy for you to solve it out. One evening her husband returned elated bearing in his hand a large envelope here he said here is something for you why was the husband elated what was the reaction from you find the word from the extract that means the same as rapper what is the opposite word of elated lastly one sunday as she was taking taking a walk in the Ch- uh, champs elysees To rid herself of the cares of the week she suddenly perceived a woman walking with a child who is she in these lines how did the woman with the child react on seeing her find the word from the extract that means the same as to become aware of or conscious what parts of speech is one in the our extract here we complete the entire chapter the necklace It's a very beautiful chapter. It may seem very simple. Yes it is, but it has a very deeper sense you need to understand and accordingly try to write the answers with the understandings from the videos as well as reading the chapter thoroughly. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.